Tencent's cooperation with Chinese law enforcement leads to further arrests of hackers. In other words, PUBG is cleaning house. 141 PUBG hackers have now been arrested in China for creating cheat software containing a Trojan virus. Over 200 pieces of hardware were seized, including PCs, USB drives, and mobile phones. It has also been confirmed that the cheat software contained a Trojan virus that stole players' data. Looks like Tencent is really putting their fists down against hackers. Let's hope they do the same for the bugs in the game. Ellie, the protagonist of Last of Us Part 2, will never walk alone as someone will follow her through her journey in the sequel. The Last of Us Part 2 is about honoring Ellie and Naughty Dog has made a point of implying she may be the only playable character. But in a new interview, Naughty Dog Vice President New Druckmann let slip that she'll have someone else along for the ride. Druckmann explained, well, so Ellie used to be an NPC, but she's the protagonist in this story, so the player is controlling Ellie. It's safe to say with the game that we've made in the past, there will be some NPCs with you in this story, even though we're not showing in this demo. So is it Joel? Could it be Dina? At least mom? Will England ever win a second World Cup? We'll just have to wait and see. Mortal Kombat movie reboot writer Greg Russo has confirmed that the film's alleged cast leak is not the full list of characters. Earlier this week, that hashtag show reported on what characters were allegedly set to appear in the upcoming reboot from producer James Wan. The list included fan favorites like Kano, Sonya Blade, Raiden, and a new character named Cole Turner. Russo explained on Twitter that this leaked list is actually based off an older version of the movie's script, and he also tweeted Scorpion and Sub-Zero Forever in Chinese characters. The Mortal Kombat reboot doesn't have release date just yet, but since football is not coming home, I got oh. Fatality. Thank you for watching today's fix, but don't forget that we will be at Asia Comic Con Malaysia starting tomorrow till the 15th of July. See you there.